welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my last Dollar Tree haul for a while. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I got a cord hanging out. Um, I mentioned like a week or two ago how I've been selling like baby stuff, like things that Jax grows out of and things that Alex grows out of. I'm selling them because I'm not having any more kids, so I don't need to keep them anymore. Things that Adriel grows, I'm saving for Alex. So I've been selling baby stuff like crazy, and I mentioned in, I forget what video it was. It might have been a Taco Bell video. Anyway, how the starting December 1st, the little girl, my girls have little mailboxes. And every morning from December 1st until Christmas Eve, that's the last day they get it, they have just a little treat in their mailboxes. So I went in to Dollar Tree to get their each get each of them 24 little items for in their mailboxes. And while I was in there, I'm like, you know what? I've been through hell and back lately. I've sold all kinds of baby stuff, and that is, I'm just gonna go into Dollar Tree and any Christmas items that I want, I'm gonna get. Any Christmas decorations, I'm gonna get because a lot of my Christmas decorations are big and there's no room for them in this house. So a lot of my current Christmas decorations I've had for years, I'm not gonna be able to put up. So I bought some Christmas decorations, some Christmas kitchenware, all kinds of stuff. I'm obviously, I don't know. I don't know if I should show the stuff that I got them or not. Adri watches my videos sometimes. I don't want her to see what she's getting before she gets it. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Because it's all separated anyway. So we will just jump right in to what I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Like I said, this will be my last Dollar Tree haul for a while. Because, like I said, this is holiday stuff. And then I got to get things in order. Like I said, I sold baby stuff. And, yeah. Let's see. It's best in it. Pack and play, seats, clothes, uh, the mobile from Allie's old bed, uh, just all kinds of stuff. Anyway, nothing that matters anyway. So yeah, let's just get into it. So I passed these up like a couple trips at Dollar Tree, and then the more um, videos I saw with people hauling these, I'm like, you know what? These would be perfect because we, well, we always have baking day. We have like Adri's whole life at my house that started when I was pregnant for her. And my whole family come over, we bake cookies and buckeyes and make puppy chow and all kinds of stuff. And I don't know how that's going to happen this year. I and mean, we might just be doing it on our own or maybe with my mom or my stepdad or I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work. Maybe get my great nephews if they want to come over. But we always get together and bake some goodies and make some Christmas treats. And these will be absolutely perfect for them. So these, I'm sure you've seen them by now. They are the little buckets. Uh, containers that say have yourself a merry little Christmas and they have the reindeer and the little snowflakes how cute are these and they have the red lids they have a couple different designs but this is the only one that I really liked so I picked up two of these one was like blue with snowflakes I actually got that a previous year so I already had those and then there's ones that are uh, green and red I forget what they say but I didn't get that that was the only pattern that I really really liked um, this bag looks like just some random things. Yeah. So the kids really like these. I enjoy them myself. Also, they are the Mr. Brownie Rich, Moist, and Fudgy Chocolate Brownie Bites. So I got the chocolate brownie bites. I'm about to drop everything on the floor. So just pick up. Oh my gosh. So yeah, so we have the chocolate brownie bites. And then we have the blondie bites. So they're like chocolate chip messing with the lighting and my camera the focus anyway got some little treats what am I doing here I also picked up these um, yeah I bought these at our old house I haven't bought them since we've been here oh my gosh that's how my whole life is um, yeah so I picked up two boxes these. there's eight pastry crisps for per eight pastry crisps per box and there's two per pouch. There's like four little packets with two of these chocolate pastries in them. Adri, Alex liked them. Jay liked them too. Um, so yeah, there's those. Also, when Jay left, he took <laughs> like the junk drawer stuff and I've needed to use envelopes a couple times since then. So I thought I'd just buy my own envelopes. These have less in them than the regular box, but these are the self adhesive ones. Instant sealing, no licking required. So I got the larger ones with 30 in it and then the smaller ones with 40. Don't know what you got to, actually don't know what you need, so let's go on. <laughs> How often do you need envelopes? And now since 
he's been gone, I've needed envelopes. I also was having having a little snack attack that day. And I got these, and then once I got in the car, I forgot all about it. So I got a box of the hot tamales. Just sometimes I just want something chewy and cinnamon. And also peanut butter m &Ms. I love peanut m &Ms. They're my favorite. But due to my flare-up earlier this year from diverticulitis, I don't even chance it with peanut m &Ms. But I like the peanut butter ones. I mean, they're delicious. There is that bag. But I ripped up, so it is trash. I'm, like, cleaning and going through stuff. The kids aren't here. So, yeah. This next bag, I picked up these little peanut butter clusters. Oh, they do have peanuts. It says, delicious milk chocolatey clusters filled with creamy peanut butter and roasted peanuts. Okay, the girls might have to eat those because those have peanuts. I saw peanut butter instead of like the caramel and like turtle ones. But those do have peanuts. See, that's what happens when you get in a hurry. You buy things that you can't have. Someone will eat them. I also picked up this cup. This one says it's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the double wall tumbler with the little lid, with the slide you can put your, um, you can slide open either a drink straight from there or put a straw in there. I don't know if you can really see it because of the lighting, but it's the most wonderful time of the year. I love holiday time. I love it. Um, the girls... Like I said, they each have, this is the mailbox that they have. They each have one of these mailboxes, the cardboard ones. And I just, for their whole, like Adri's, I don't even know, since she was maybe two, I think. I don't know. For years, this is just what I've done. If you watch my vlogs, like my Vlogmas vlogs, and you know this is what I do. I put a little treat in there and I put their little flag up. Like when they go to sleep, so then in the morning they go down, they check their mailbox and they see what goodies in there and they put their little flag down. So I picked one up for myself. Jackson is only seven months old, so I don't think I could come up with 24 things to give him. Like it's going to be hard enough to figure out what to get him for Christmas, um, which he's little and yeah, we haven't figured out Christmas yet. But yeah, I got this one for myself because there's been times that Adrian's wanted to leave me little notes. So if she wants to leave me a little note in my mailbox, now I have my own. And it's so cute. Santa North Pole, Santa's House North Pole, Father Christmas North Pole. I think it's adorable. And then the little flag says Santa North Pole. I love it. This is my favorite one there. I was actually going to get Jack's one, but all they have is a small one. They didn't have any more big ones. And I wanted, like, the big one has the penguins on it, but they just didn't have it. And I'm like, I'm not, I don't even know what I would put in it every day, like I said. Next year, it'll be a different story. So, next up, I got these little... And keep things in a little bit of order. I got these little tins. This one says Santa's House North Pole Air Mail. And like it has the little like letters on the side. Like envelope letters. How cute is that? If I don't blind you from the light. I'm trying to put it so you can see. It's just a little tin. I'll probably just have it sitting on a shelf or on the mantle as a decoration. I don't know. I might put a snack in. I don't know. And then they also had this little plastic mailbox with the little red truck. Super cute with a little red flag. It has a snowman in the truck. And he's holding a candy cane. And there's a Christmas tree. It says North Pole this way. And they're just, these are just cute little fun little things. That can be decoration. Uh, next up in here. I haven't seen anybody. Like, I've been watching Dollar Tree hauls like crazy. And I have not seen anybody haul these. At Halloween time they had the Halloween books. But look. And I only saw these, I saw these at the Dollar Tree in Wapoff, which is where Jay's at. So like 20 minutes away. Oh, it has a little defect in it. Oh, well. So this one says, "'Twas the night before Christmas, and it has Santa and his reindeer. It just looks like a little book. It has Santa Claus on it. It looks like a book. This camera takes forever to focus. It's not my new one. Look, so you can put like little treats in it, or you can just set it up like a book, like display. So there's that one. Then this one says Santa's Christmas list, and it's the old time, like the old fashioned Santa Claus. How cute is that? Is that not the cutest little thing? So there's those. There was a fourth one. I think it had snowmen on it, but I didn't get it. I just picked up these three. And this one says Santa's reindeer, and it has Santa Claus with his reindeer. Let me see. I don't know if it's focusing. I can't tell because you're kind of far away. But look how cute they are. They're like, they really look like little books, little Christmas books. And I've not seen anybody haul these. Not a single person. So those are easy decorations. Plus, a lot of my decorations are like fragile and glass. These are cardboard. And that's what I need for when I have a toddler on the loose. 
so that things don't get broken. Also, I wanted to have a little hot chocolate station. I've had them before, like at our old house, but I want to do them again this year, just a little bit different. So I picked up some, <clears throat> some napkins. So I have this one that has Santa Claus with the tree, the trees and the presents, and he's holding a little tree in his hand, and there's a little stocking on the ground. So I picked up those, and then this one's just the, the snowman holding the candy cane with the red truck. Super cute, cutesy little napkins. Then also for the napkins to go in our hot chocolate stand, I picked up <coughs> hot chocolate station. What the heck, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> just, I picked up one of these clear napkin holders. It's just clear, so it'll work with any, well now I've got the sticker on it. Um, yeah, so you can still see the napkins through them. Super cute. So they can just be at the hot a hot chocolate station. And then also, I thought the girls is like they have a little table that they sit at that's in the living room where they sit for like everything. Um, I thought I'd get another one of these napkin holders, and I also picked up some little napkins. But I might put these at the hot chocolate station. The small ones. I put the big napkins at their little table. So anyway, I got a second napkin holder. Um, I, the napkin holders are great. That's what's holding like my eyeshadow palettes and stuff back there on my shelf. If you can see them. So anyway, here's the little napkins. This one says "Express Your Elf" instead of "Express Yourself." These are like the cocktail napkins. Is that what they're called? Beverage napkins. And then it says "Have a Cup of Cheer." So these, like I said, might go at the little hot chocolate station in the kitchen. And then to make our little hot chocolate station look kind of fancy, I got these little plastic silver spoons. There's 24 in a pack, so I got two packs. They're so cute. They're little, they're blinding you, sorry. So we have those that can stir up their little mugs of hot chocolate with fancy looking spoons that are actually plastic. I don't know what to put that. Next bag. If you haven't got a snack or a drink, you might want to do it because I have quite a bit of stuff here. So next up for the hot chocolate station, I'm not sure which tray I'm going to use. The other tray can go at their little table for like a centerpiece. So I picked up this little tray to put all the hot chocolate stuff on in the kitchen. It's red with snowflakes. But I also picked up this one because I haven't decided which one I want to use yet. Sorry, you can see my ring light in there. So this one is Santa Claus. <laughs> with the tree and presents in that matches the napkins and plates. I got plates in a different Dollar Tree haul. So I got those for the hot chocolate station, then one that they can have their little stuff on at their table. They love decorating their little table. This was just a random wall decal that I saw. It is a unicorn for Adriana's room. That's not Christmassy, but whatever. I also picked up two of these cupcake holders. I've been looking for these forever. Nicole Burgess. Burgess? Sorry, Nicole. She uses these like when she makes her little keto cupcakes and keto um, muffins. And I thought these would be perfect. And I've been looking for months at my Dollar Tree and I could not find them. I found them in Walk Walk. So it's the little cupcake holder that holds um, nine cupcakes. Then they have the clear lid that goes on top. And actually snaps on. It has the handle. So it's perfect. So I picked up two of those just because I've been looking for them forever. So if one breaks or if I take one somewhere and leave it there, I have a spare. Or I can make two different kinds. So I got those. Next up, I got a few little things for the hot chocolate station. Like for the ingredients. So I thought we could have, um, I got two of these little canisters. I thought we could put marshmallows in one and maybe mini chocolate chips in one. They're just the glass um, canisters. I got everything clear so you could just see like the ingredients. It's like little, the mini marshmallows or some chocolate chips. My girls love chocolate. They could have, throw a couple extra chocolate chips in their hot chocolate. So I got two of those. For chocolate chips and for, um, and I might not do hot dog, chocolate chips, but one of them sells it for marshmallows. And then 
I got two of these canisters. They can sit upright or they have the angled flat side where they would sit like this. And these are for, um, they have the this, also for the hot chocolate station. To put little candy canes or like the little candy cane sticks in. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <clears throat> so those are for the hot chocolate station. I'm keeping it pretty organized this time. So also in here, I thought at the little hot cocoa station, we could have some of these little um, cream filled wafers. My girls love these. These would be so good, like dipped in hot chocolate. So I actually picked up this one. It's a chocolate hazelnut. It's 3.25 ounces, but then at the grocery store, I picked up like a, a big jar. I forget how many it has in it, but I picked up a large can and I need to see which one's a better deal. But this would be cute sitting on the little tray with all the little ingredients, like all the little toppings. For their, for their added little add-ons or extras. Then I saw this. This is bite-sized food cutter set. It is bite-sized squares, perfect for picky eaters for 18 months and older, as seen on Shark Tank. Um, it's not metal. It's just super hard, firm, sharp kind of plastic. So it's this two-piece little cutter, and it just you make a sandwich, and then you just put your little cutter over it, and it cuts it into bite-sized little squares. It shows that there's little critters too. It says fun bites. Oh wait. There's yellow, there's green. They're regular shapes. And then there's a couple that are look like triangles and just random shapes. But these, a lot of times I just cut Alex's little food up. I know she's two, but sometimes she doesn't want to mess with like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. If I have them like cut into four triangles, she will not eat it. But if they're cut into bite-sized pieces, she'll eat it. Don't know why. Pizza, she does not want to cut up anymore. She wants to eat it by the slice and hold it herself like a big girl. So, I don't know. I also picked up this cute little decoration. It can just kind of sit anywhere or it can hang. Um, and it's just this, it says holiday cheer. It's a gray and it has a little snowman with a snowflake. It has some glitter on the word cheer. Isn't that the cutest little thing? Just plain and simple and cute. So you can hang it on a door handle. You can hang it on a, a cupboard handle, wherever. Wherever. Next up, I grabbed some of these because I cannot find any of my, I'm not even all the way unpacked. We still have like a handful of boxes that aren't unpacked. I cannot find any of my dish towels or anything or my pot holders that you just set hot things on the counter. So I went ahead and got some at the Dollar Tree. So this one says Dashing Through the Snow. It's a two pack of the um, pot holders. Not pot holders, is that what it's called? Yeah, pot holders. But I like to use these if you have something hot, like a cookie sheet you take out of the oven, you just want to need to set it on the counter. You can just set it on these. So I got those. I also got the matching dish towel that says dashing through the snow. And to go along with this theme, I also got the oven mitt that says dashing through the snow. So I got the whole set, which I need to just put out right now because I cannot find anything in there. And I also picked up the snowman, for like after Christmas when it's still winter for a while here in Ohio, it's like winter forever. This one just says let it snow. So it's just a snowman with a red truck. Um, so yeah, there's that. Just the hand towel and the pot holders. And then two more random uh, hand towels. We have the Santa Claus that says here comes Santa Claus. And then this gray one. That just has all little cups of like hot cocoa. Let's just have a cup of cheer, comfort, and joy. Super cute. This one looks like Santa's suit. And they're like the microfiber towels, which aren't great if you have dry hands. So make sure your hands are moisturized or else they stick to those and snag like crazy. This bag is some of the items I got for the hot chocolate station. Like I said, I got a container for marshmallows. So here are some marshmallows. The mini marshmallows. To put in one of the jars. Here are some of the little candy cane peppermint sticks. That you can use like to stir your hot chocolate or just, you know, eat them with your hot chocolate. I love pepperoni hot chocolate. I think it's so delicious. We like to go look at Christmas lights and drive around look at them and I always get like a pepperoni hot chocolate. Um, and this is just 30 mini candy canes. I'll put those in one of those little containers to have a little candy cane. Or you can even stick one of these in your hot chocolate and just kind of let it melt. 
<clears throat> That's the plan, Stan. Sorry, I must have been filming for 20 minutes because my camera shut off and only goes for 20 minutes at a time. So it's all these. Russell Stover Naturally Flavored Peppermint. They are crushed peppermint pieces in white fudge. So I thought these, if these are good, I might grab some more just to put in one of those little dishes. My girls love their chocolates and their little treats. And how cute would those be at the little hot chocolate station? So I got those and then I also picked up these uh, peppermint bark. Old fashioned goodness, dark chocolate flavored peppermint bark with a dark chocolatey flavored layer. So they're individually wrapped little peppermint bark candies. So they might be disgusting, they might be delicious. I don't know. If you've tried them, let me know down below what they're like. I also picked up a hat. I actually picked up a couple hats. Um, my girls love to go outside. They have to play in the snow. This hat I thought was adorable because it says hashtag future. And yes, my girls are the future. At least that's what they think. They think they're going to run the world one day. So I picked up that one. And they can, they can share them. I was to say I have a bag of bags somewhere. And there's, here's the other ones. Here's two more. So this one's just pink with a unitorn. I mean, a knit stocking cap. You can't beat one of those for a dollar, especially cute ones. And then this one has a little cupcake on it. So yeah, they can have fun sharing those. This next bag. I'm keeping like the kid friendly snacks like cheese, yogurt tubes, uh, carrots, bell peppers, stuff like that in little containers in the door so they can like so Allie she opens the door the fridge and she just picks her little snack. She absolutely loves it. And I thought these would be better because these are bigger than the ones I have in there. So I thought I could put some little um, clementines or tangerines in these. They don't have to have the lid. They can just leave the lid off so they can just reach in and grab a piece of fruit instead of trying to get in the drawers. The drawers in this fridge, the fridge came with the place like because they rent it. And the, a couple of the drawers are broken, so I fight to even get the drawers open and closed. So if I have them handy in the door of the fridge, they just absolutely love getting in there and picking out their snack. So I just picked up two of these clear containers with the purple snap-on lids. I also picked these up because I have a ceramic village that usually goes on my black sand, which is down in the basement because there's no room for it in here. So I'm not going to have my Christmas village up. So I thought the least I can do is pick up this little plastic village that can pretty much sit anywhere. It doesn't plug in, doesn't have lights, but you just use the little battery operated tea lights to go in them, which I keep forgetting to pick up. So I just picked up a couple houses. I thought the girls would really like this and I don't have to worry about them getting broken. They loved my other village. They loved to just play with the little pieces, the carolers, the trees. So mama's gonna try and make it work for them. So I picked up this house. This is the bakery. They had these last year. I feel like I picked up one or two for Adri for in her bedroom, but these will be for downstairs. So there's the bakery. And this one is just a little house. Like someone's house, a little yellow house. How cute is that? With a little wreath on the door. The steps go into the house. I think these are so cute. Like I said, they're plastic. You put the battery operated little tea light candles, you're good to go. This one says post office. Let me take this over here. So yeah, we have the post office. They're so cute. And they're so little. Like they're the size of my hand. And I have little hands. So I think they're really going to love this. Um, and then this is the church. Come on, are you going to focus? Not really. So yeah. There's our little Christmas village for this Christmas. discoloration but that's okay that's okay I also picked up these for Adri she loves these for our Rochers so those are for her a little treat for her I like when I have any candy in the house from trick or treat also to go with the little houses I picked up a few of the little accessories so this is the little park bench and then the two light posts that they can play with and just move them around sorry the lights gonna go in and out for these this one is a little person shoveling snow, and there's a sleigh with presents and a cardinal, it looks like. And then there's a snowman. So there's those. This is another man shoveling, and then two kids playing in the snow, and then it looks like Frosty, the snowman with a little broom. These are just so 
cute. And the fact that they're plastic makes it even better. Oh, I forgot to pick up trees because they have little green and white trees. Dang it. So this one is a little well and then a little Christmas tree. But they even has a star on top and ornaments on it. And then some carolers. So cute. And then the last little pack has um, a person holding two wreaths, a person that fell in the snow, and Santa Claus. So yeah. They can set those up around their little houses. If they play with them and move them around, it's perfectly fine. Next up in here, I got some little stocking hangers for on the mantle. I need to get Jackson a stocking because it's his first Christmas. He doesn't have a stocking yet. So I just picked up these three little stocking holders. So this one is obviously Santa Claus. Uh-oh. And then I picked up a snowman that's holding a lantern. These are so cute for a dollar. And they're good, like, a heavy weight to hang your stocking. And then here's just a little elf. So I think this will be super cute on the mantle with the stockings hanging. Excuse me, with stockings hanging from them. Who's in here? Oh. Got the bag is empty, but there's a pack of pens. Um, these are the... R2 Blast, Precise Writing, Comfort Grip, Assorted Ink, two rollerball pens. It looks like pink and green. Those are for myself. I'm obsessed with pens. I have been since I was a kid. Pens, stationery, stickers, markers. I will never grow out of that. And that's fine. Maybe. So there's a pack of pens. Uh, next up in here. I got these with the hot chocolate station. I blame Sparkle on Forever for this because she had these, a couple of these mugs at her, at her coffee bar. And they just look so cute. Like they'd be perfect. So this says, tis the season to be jolly. It's just a white mug with red letters. And it seems like it's taller than normal mugs. And then this one says, I love Santa. So the red and white, they'll match that red and white tray and the red and white candy canes that will be at the hot chocolate station. Yeah, it's getting cold and we're getting ready for some hot chocolate. This next bag <clears throat> has, we have one of these. It's either Snowman or Santa Claus. I don't remember, but I have two little ones that will be drinking hot chocolate. So I picked up a second one. This one's just a little snowman. Like a, a month or two ago, it's been a while, they had the mugs that were just a white. They was all white and it had the snowman face on it. And I really wanted one, and I was there with Adrian then one day. We are getting something for her friend's birthday. She's like, Mom, just get it. I'm like, no, I'll get it later, and I haven't seen it since. But I did pick up this one because I typically drink cold drinks anyway, so it's just the, the tumbler with the straw, and it has the red trucks and snowmen on it. Because the, the, the only thing I drink that's hot is hot chocolate. That's why I got the two different tumblers. I also just picked up some feminine cleansing cloth. I always have these in the bathroom for... Anyone to use after going to the bathroom. So that's nothing real fun. I also picked up just a little battery that is for my scale in the bathroom. I also picked up these Elmo wipes. I use the Pamper Sensitive on my kids, but these are good to have for like washing, wiping hands. And I, if Alex gets into them and uses 15 at a time, it's fine because there's only a dollar for the pack. So I keep those just for the kids to use if they need to get a wet wipe. I also picked up these, just as little decorative pillows for on the couch. The girls are obsessed with these sequin things. So this is the stocking, and one direction is red, the other direction is silver. And I also picked up the tree. One direction is gold, and then the other direction is green. We love our holiday pillows. So there's those. I'm getting close to the end, guys. The next thing in here is just this box. It says, Merry Christmas. It's just for decoration. Super cute. It's so weird because I thought I got two of these, and I thought I got a um, cookie container that had the red truck on it, and I can't find them anywhere, so I have no idea where they would be because all of my... Oh, Never mind. Huh. Spoke too soon. So I 
also picked up this little ring holder. Adri's really into her jewelry, and she loves narwhals. So it's a gold narwhal that holds your rings. I'll leave this up here. And I did find it. I, say, I, th I swear I picked one of these up. So it's the red truck uh, cookie container, cookies, cupcakes, whatever. Puppy chow, because that usually takes two containers because we make a ton of the puppy chow. Um, so yeah, that's that. I also picked up this little tree to go on their little table. Like I said, they love having their table decorated, so this can be on their table with their little napkins. They will absolutely love it. I also picked this up. This is an auto eyeliner, long-lasting wear, smooth, rich color, and it is in navy. Just an uh, LA Colors eyeliner. I don't need eyeliner, but mine are so scattered. I just had to dig some out of my drawers today because they all fell down when we moved, and they were in the bottom, so the bottom drawer wouldn't close. Yeah. I also picked up this cinnamon stick. It's two fragrance, sa sa fragrance sachets, and they smell just like Red Hots. I love cinnamon. But they're not, like, overly powerful because I don't want my kids to be, like, choking on them, especially the baby. I don't want anything, like, too strongly scented. I also picked up this little, or, or this sign. It says Merry Christmas. It has Santa Claus. It has a little metal at the top. It's, like, a giant ornament. Super cute. We love the cutesy little decorations. I also picked up a picture frame for Adriana's school picture. This year's school picture. I need to put it in a frame. I mean, she had her pictures back forever ago. I also picked this up because I bought a bag a while ago and Adri wanted to try them. I thought we'd try them together for a video and we never did. So I got her her own. It's the unicorn poop marshmallows. Oh, she can even float some poop marshmallows in her hot chocolate if she wanted. I also picked up these. She's obsessed with Nutella with strawberries and bananas in it. I mean, it's delicious. I know why she's obsessed with it, but I thought she could try these. These are Jif to Go Chocolate Silk. It's peanut butter and chocolate flavored spread, but it's um, three little individual cups. So I'll see if she'll try these and see if she likes these to dip her strawberries and um, bananas in instead of digging out the Nutella and scooping out. And, yeah. I also picked up these. I used to collect like all of the wet and wild eyeshadow things. They were like all the rage on YouTube forever ago. But now I saw my, I've never seen these at Dollar Tree. So this one is silent treatment. If I remember right, this is one that was popular a few years ago and like it was sold out everywhere. Nobody could get it, but everybody was using it. And this one is walking on eggshells. And they even say on a uh, lid crease brow. Wait, eyelid crease brow bone. Yeah, so you can't mess up. And then this one is, I'm getting sunburned. So I picked those up. And then I'm on, oh, not on my last bag, sorry. <laughs> um, I picked up just another pair of kitchen scissors. You can never have too many pairs of kitchen scissors. These are great for cutting pizza rolls because using a knife, it squirts all over, but if you use these, I cut, for Alex, I cut one pizza roll into four pieces and for Adri, I cut them into two pieces. Otherwise, they bite into them and the, the filling squirts out and burns their mouth. And it's done it to me before, too. And then I picked up, Alex loves these, the white cheddar popcorners. So I grabbed her two bags of those. And then Adri's, like, obsessed with cheddar fries. She tried them for the first time whenever I got them last. And now she's like, Mom, can you give me cheddar fries? Mom, can you give me cheddar fries? So I grabbed her two little bags of cheddar fries. I'm like really losing my voice. Last few things, guys. I forgot to put these up in my pile. So, when Jay left, I swear he took the screwdrivers because I could not find a little screwdriver to take the back off of Alex's little sound machine. And they came in a little case, and I cannot find those anymore. Um, so I just found this little set. It says tool set, three screwdrivers, six bits, one knife. So it's just this little tool set. Jay says that it's here, but I don't know. I can't find it. So pick that up. I also picked up these bowls. So this is a pack that has two. There's plain white bowls. They're pretty good sized bowls. So I grabbed those. I don't know why. I have no idea why because I do not need bowls. But look at these. These were individual. So you get one bowl for a dollar, but I got two. These are square bowls. I didn't mean to throw the bowl on throw the wrapper. Look how deep these are. It's like the perfect bowl for a nice big salad because it's tall. Look how tall that is. It's a tall bowl. 
So it's perfect when you make a salad or taco salad to mix it all around together in the bowl. Because shallow bowls just kind of goes everywhere. So I'm a, like a loving these. I don't think I've, I think I've seen them, but I've never really paid attention. And these are also microwave safe. So I picked up two of those square bowls. That's trash. I also picked up these little plastic plates. They look kind of fancy. It says six salad plates. They're white plates with, sorry, silver trim. Like they look fancy, but they're just plastic, like throwaway. Or you can wash them and reuse them. I also picked up these tongs for the hot chocolate station to dig out the chocolate chips. They're tongs, but they have, like have a scoop. So you could scoop out chocolate chips and they would hold the marshmallows instead of digging their little fingers in them. So it's this pack, what's in there? Four silver plastic tongs. That's the hot chocolate station. I also picked up this mini um, dustpan and brush because my kids make the biggest mess at their little table and it's over the tile, it's not over the carpet. So this would be perfect to just get in there and clean up their little crumbs. Plus, when I use my vacuum, like the it's actual tiles. So we're in between the tiles, all the crumbs get in there. So you literally need to dig them out. So I thought the little bristles on the brush would be great instead of a uh, vacuum of those flat floors. I also picked this random thing up. It's a cell phone holder, but I have plastic cell phone holders, but my phone, since I have the, um, the ring on the back, they don't tend to stand up and on like, like this Dollar Tree cell phone holder. Um, it doesn't want to stay in there. So this one is like a little rubber guy. You squeeze him and his eyes pop out, which is just kind of silly. And he has like a little mop head, but I'm pretty sure that the little top of the head is it? Yeah, the hair cleans your screen. So see, you use your, the little hair to clean your screen. And then, oh my gosh, hi Chelsea. <laughs> You're on my video. And then your phone can sit up in there, that way or this way. And the legs, see how far out his legs stick? So it leans back. So there's plenty of room for it to lean against there with, for someone that has the hook on there. See what I mean? So I got that. I know, random, right? And then the last few things, I saw these Pillsbury candles. This one is iced cinnamon rolls. And it smells like cinnamon. I've never seen, there, seen these there before, but they smell amazing. So that's the iced cinnamon rolls. And then they have this one that's the apple cinnamon pie. It reminds me of like the Glade apple cinnamon candles. If you've tried these, let me know what the throw is like on these. Because I've never seen them, let alone tried them. So I got those. I also picked up this little let's go party. It's a little um, shadow box sign. Now they're stuck in there. It's a little shadow box that has a sign there. And it has like little pom poms in there. It can sit on a shelf or it can hang. It has the ribbon. It's just a fun little, just a fun little picture. Fling around the little pom poms. I also picked up this little sign for Adriana's room. It says dream. Her walls are blue, so it'll be blue in the background with the white letters. And the very last thing, guys. Just this container for when it's not the holidays. I've never seen these big containers there before. It's 17 cups. So it's a big container. And I have some of these that are like rubber made, and I always get lost. Like 4th of July, I put pasta salad and macaroni salad in them. And then I take them here and there, and I never, like, I lose them. So yeah, I picked up just one of these. It's the Sure Fresh brand, which I love. And yeah. That is it for this Dollar Tree haul. Not like that is it, but I'm saying that's that's all for this Dollar Tree haul. Like I said, this is my last Dollar Tree haul for a while because, like I said, I just sold things and I was getting Christmas stuff and little items for their mailboxes, which I'm not going to put in here because this just took forever showing me the things that are not their items. And yeah, give me a thumbs up if you like Dollar Tree hauls. Subscribe if you're, subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you like these types of hauls, I'll do them again eventually, but not here for a while because there's just too much other stuff going on. Too many things that are more important than going to Dollar Tree. And like I said, I don't, I don't need anything else. My mom just asked me today, what, what do I want for Christmas? I'm like, mom, you've been in my house. I do not need anything. She's like, well, what about gift card ideas? I'm like, well, that's how my house gets so packed full of stuff. Everybody gets me gift cards all the time. But yeah, that's my last Dollar Tree haul. I don't, unless I sell a bunch more baby items. No, if I sell a bunch more baby items, people buy a baby items like there's like nobody's business. Like, I don't know. I've sold garbage bags full of baby clothes, like all one size for like 20 bucks. 
I mean, people go nuts. You post those on like the Facebook marketplace and yard sale pages, and within like hours, you have 15 people that want them. Like coats, kids coats, shoes. Adria shoes that she's barely even worn. They look brand new. You can put $15 on a pair of used Nike shoes that look pretty much brand new. They're light gray with white, and they look like, like there's nothing on them at all. Put 15 bucks on, they sell like in hours. So, if I sell any more, baby, I, like, I still don't think I'll do that. Anything else that I sell, like baby wise, will go towards their Christmas. Um, yeah, I treated myself to one last Dollar Tree haul of Christmas items that I wanted for the house, and just things to have a little bit of, you know, Christmas cheer in our household since it's kind of stressful here. And yeah. I'm ready to go put the other hot top. Well, as soon as the, like Jay has the kids right now, he had them for a few hours today, and I'm I'm ready to put up the do our little hot chocolate station with Adri and get my little get the little houses out and let the girls set them up. Um, yeah, I thank you so much for watching, and I as always I just appreciate you guys so much. I love all your comments. I love your feedback. I'd asked in a different video. I was considering doing Vlogmas like I've done in the previous years, and it's almost December. So comment down below if I should do Vlogmas like daily vlogs. I don't know if they'd be like 25 minutes or 10 minutes. I have no idea. If people want to see them, then I will gladly do vlogmas. So yeah, that's something you guys need to let me know. And if you do, I will gladly do them. Um, I have a couple eating videos that I've filmed that I need to get up. I posted one today, a McDonald's one, but I still have like a Taco Bell one, a Burger King one, which was from today while I was kid free. And yeah, I'm going to quit rambling. I think you so much. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, share this video if you like. My, the more videos or the more views I get, the more friends I make and yeah I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video I'm so out of breath and my throat is so dry I'll see you later guys bye